Hello, and how are you? It is great to be with you today. I appreciate you tuning in. I am Daphne Smith, and I'm looking forward to sharing some encouragement with you today. If you've been following me for very long, or maybe this is your very first time to tune in, you either know or you will find out quickly. I am very enthusiastic. <laughs> I am about making waves. I like to challenge the status quo. I also am very passionate about sharing hope and encouragement, about empowering others so that they are living life by design instead of by default. And something actually came to me yesterday about a topic I was reminded of a topic I used to speak about, and I have not shared this information in a really long time, but a couple of people I follow on Instagram are young moms. And so today, I wanna to give a shout out to all the busy women out there, because this message is for you. This encouragement, this teaching, these tips and little secrets are for you to make your life easier. So if you're ready and you're wanting to learn more, type in the comments, I'm ready, because we're getting ready to get started. So I wonder, have you ever noticed another woman and thought, dang, she always looks put together. She is constantly looking sharp. And we're talking about even with ball cap and yoga pants. Do y'all know who I'm talking about? Maybe you're one of those women and other women are talking about you. And, and I'm here to encourage collaboration, not competition. I don't want us judging one another. That's not the point of this at all. What I really wanna do is I wanna let you in on their little secret and why they look so put together. So if you wanna know the secret, Type in secret into the comments and I know you'll stay with me because I've got something to share and to show you. So there's that woman who is in the grocery store line and she's got on a ball cap and yoga pants and she looks cute. There's that coworker who always looks put together and yet you know She's a soccer mom, maybe a single mom. She's running around like a crazy person. But when it comes to that outside appearance, always on point. Or I don't know if it's even still in vogue, on fleek, okay? Uh, so if that's not a popular saying anymore, feel free to put that in the comments and well and, and let me know, okay? Because I'd like to be relevant. Anyway, um, they, these women have one thing in common. And it might be easy and it might be assumed that, oh, I, I know uh, what they have in common. Hey, my friend Renee, how are you? Great to have you with us. Love having you here. And yes, that inside mindset, that internal confidence, that is very important and that will shine through. What is a practical tip? What is a secret? I can give you, that it doesn't matter what the occasion is, it doesn't matter what your wardrobe budget is, it doesn't matter what size you are, where you buy your clothes, if they're this season or 20 years ago. All of these women have this thing in common and it's called being dressed to the nines. And you know, I'm a word nerd at heart, so I gotta give you a little history. That expression, dressed to the nines, was actually misunderstood. It comes from Old English, and it was dressed to thine ein. I don't really know what that means. I couldn't find that on Google. But what we did was we interpreted it to dressed to the nines, which means dressed to perfection. And how do you dress to the nines, regardless of what's going on in your life? both internally and externally, it is as simple as counting 
to nine. So if you can count to nine, you can nail this secret. Are you ready? Here's, here's the inside scoop. Every item that you have on counts for one point, all right? One point for everything you have on. And when you hit the number nine, girl, you got it going on. I'm gonna give you an example. So right now I have on some sandals. That's one point. I'm wearing, I don't think, well, the dog's right behind me. So if I try to back up too far, I'm gonna trip over them. Just know that I have on a full length maxi dress. Now, because it's a dress, it actually counts as two pieces because it's covering my top and my bottom. So between shoes and a maxi dress, that's three. And hey, you know, if I had to run out and get a gallon of milk, it's probably what I would do. I would just leave it at that. However, if I wanted to take it up a notch, here's what I would do. I would add this denim jacket. So I now am a four. Shoes are one, maxi dress counts as two, denim jacket is three. Now, I happen to be married, so I'm gonna put on my wedding ring, and I like to wear a ring on the other hand as well. So now, I'm at five. I'm also old school, so I like to wear a watch. So my watch is gonna be six. I like a bracelet, that's seven. Here is a necklace. Yes, Renee, birthday suits are zero. Don't be going out naked, okay? Here's eight and a simple pair of earrings. Yeah, I'm dressed to a nine. Do you see how long that took? Do you see how much effort that took? It took nothing, honestly. And let me tell you, this is all stuff I had in my closet. None of this is new. It's been laying around for a while. Now, if I wanted to, I could go for a bonus point with those sunglasses on top of my head. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of having a good hair day, so maybe not. And if you wear glasses, that counts as a point. So if you're wearing shoes, your prescription glasses, and a stack of bangle bracelets, you're at least a three. But to Renee's point, don't be going out naked. Well, that wasn't really Renee's point. That was my point. But, you know, you get it, right? That's the secret. These women who look like they've got it all together, they're dressed to the nines. All they did was count. And for everything they put on, they got a point. And when you hit nine, you're done. Don't be going for overachievement points, like 11, 12, 13, 14. Then you just look gaudy, okay? And it takes too much time. And it gets hot. And it's just, uh, too much, okay? Stick with nine. Nine is the number of perfection when it comes to getting dressed. And every time that you dress to the nines, you're going to feel confident. You're going to feel sharp. Tennis shoes, yoga pants, t-shirt, hoodie over it. That's four. Slap on your earrings, your wedding ring, your Fitbit. We're at seven. We'll put on a little necklace. And your sunglasses are a ball cap. You're at nine. You really can, regardless of the situation, look as put together on the outside as you do, or maybe hope to feel as good as you do on the inside. And what happens is all too often we look at somebody and we think, oh yeah, she's got it all together. You know, her mindset, she probably only thinks positive thoughts and has an hour and a half every day for devotion and meditation and um, her diet, her exercise, and her sleep are 100% all the time. I doubt it because there's no perfect woman on this planet. There's no perfect person on this planet. And I also can tell you that it's easy to compare and look at somebody's outside. My own grandmother, my maternal grandmother, was a model in Dallas until she was 69 years old. She's the one who taught me the concept of being dressed to the nines. Because in my eyes, my Mimi always looked perfect. And you can look flawless as well when you dress to the nines. And I hope that this has given you some peace of mind, some encouragement, and a little bit of empowerment.
meant too. But you know what? It doesn't take a lot of money. It doesn't matter what size you are. It doesn't matter if you're walking into the boardroom or the nursery school room. You can look put together as simple as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember, as long as you can count, you can look sharp while living a well done life daily and making waves. I'm Daphne Smith. I've got a big announcement coming out on September 15th. So if you're not already subscribed to my email list, hop on over to DaphneVSmith.com and make sure we exchange emails because this is going to be a biggie and it's going to be free. And I know for a fact you're going to enjoy it and your life will be dialed up because of it. Renee, thanks for joining me today. And for everyone else who watches this later, have a great day. Bye for now.